world of automotive design, few skills are as revered as the art of clay sculpting, where craftsmen use their hands to shape the very body of a concept car. This process is a delicate balance, creativity, precision, and years of honed expertise. If you clicked on this video, maybe you have an ambitious project of your own and don't know where to start. This is part of my journey in creating my own space frame race car, body panels and all. How does an average person fabricate a custom body? There are many skills necessary to completing the task, but I have finally gathered all the tools I need in my brain to do it. There are several disciplines of building a car. In this video I will showcase my journey into composites and mold making with various technologies. This was my first attempt at a body buck. It wasn't as nice as I had hoped, but it got me dreaming, and that's what was the important thing at that moment. For my second iteration, I used CNC to machine out 3D profiles out of uh, insulation foam board and glued them together to make the final piece. This was a lot more um, workable and it looked more like the shape. Given you do have to body work it the same amount as you would anything else. And I did my best at the time and I think that was not enough. Um, it definitely took a lot more work than I was expecting, but I had fun doing it. In 2024, I revisited 3D printing. 3D printing was never a serious option for me because I always thought the machines were not very reliable. And to manage a bunch of them, you would have to be very, very articulate with your file systems. But with the advent of the new um, software and hardware that has come out, I feel like it's finally something that's usable for creating large shapes. Um, I think 3D printing is going to be a huge hit for custom car makers and designers. So that's what I went with. I went with the Bamboo Lab A1 uh, and they print out flawlessly. I printed out this mold half in just under uh, two days and it was about 10 kilograms of PLA filament. Um, I wouldn't recommend directly printing a mold unless you plan on a room temp cure for your composite. Uh, I did just because I'm only pulling one thing and I'm not putting it in the oven. These printers have been dead reliable. I uh, even swapped out the nozzle to a 0.8 millimeter and I'm using the most coarse layer height there is. Now this mold is really big. It's the size of a, a front clip of a car, um, or at least half of it. But uh, there's got to be a numbering system in place. So there's some software I use for that. Please uh, message me if you would like to know the name. I can give you the website that it comes from. Um, but yeah, so once you get all the pieces, I assembled it with Gorilla Glue Gel and that seemed to hold really well. I, I then uh, filled all the seams and the uh, layer lines with Bondo and sanded it. And there's the mold with the end mold clear. And it looked pretty good. There's a kind of a quick clip of the layup of the part. It, it was uh, kind of challenging, but not really. It, carbon fiber can be tricky um, because you do have to make sure there's no bridging of the corners and that your fabric is uh, perfectly flat against the mold. Um, that's something vacuum won't do for you. You have to make sure the fabric is tucked to where it needs to be or else you are going to get voids, you are going to get uh, problems. So um, I made uh, some infusion uh, fittings with the 3D printers as well. They worked really, really well for this application. I just uh, put them in the bag and then poked a hole and stuck the, the quarter inch vacuum line into them so it worked really well. Uh, 
so yeah the vacuum bag was really big i had to make sure not to tear it while putting the the 3d printed tool in uh, also you can see towards the bottom of the mold that i put some just fabric breather cloth on it because there are some rough spots where there was uh, support material that could puncture the bag so just to keep the the bag from ripping or breaking open during the infusion so the order goes like this you put your carbon uh, materials on and then peel ply and then your red infusion flow net and from there you put it in the bag and you get your vacuum and your inlet set up so this is kind of a time lapse of infusing you can see the infusion runs from the middle out to the outsides of the mold um, yeah and you can kind of clearly see the infusion fittings there they worked really well Thank you all for watching this video. It may not seem like a lot, but it is a lot to me. And uh, I wanted to apologize to my audience that I haven't been updating you guys. So I'm gonna start posting a little more frequently and hopefully get you guys up to speed at where I'm at with my project.